you are my best friend and know me better than I know myself. You are my forever love and always support me as I will always support you in your dreams. I knew from the first time we hung out that you were going to be a special person to me and I can't believe I'm lucky enough to marry you and spend forever with my favorite person. We have been through ups and downs and we continue to grow stronger together and I love that big beautiful smile on your sense of humor. I want to make you smile for the rest of our lives because that's what makes me happy. Your happiness is my happiness and I vow to do everything in my power to continue to make you happy and make you feel loved and supported. I can't wait to start our future together and finally get to call you my wife. I promise to be by your side through good times and hard times and to always push you to be the person you want to be. I vow to always be there for you through sickness and in health and to always be loyal to you forever and always. You are my world. Robbie, my love. I think we all know that being decisive is not really my strong suit. In fact, I'm unsure about most things. But not you, never you. The decision to marry you was easy and clear and it has been the honor of my life to be first your friend, then your partner. I vow to support your goals and help you achieve them and share in the joy when you do, as you usually do. I can't wait to continue to learn with and from you. I promise to encourage you to grow just as you've always encouraged me and I promise to never stop growing with you. I promise to always try to make you laugh and tell you all of my stories, even if you've already heard them. Thank you for choosing me to build this beautiful life with. I promise to always choose you back. promised to treat each other with kindness and respect no matter what challenges arise do you promise to love and support each other with every new success and discovery as you continue to grow and explore the world both as partners and individuals and do you promise to provide for each other as husband and wife sharing the daily responsibilities of a happy home as con constant companions for as long as you both shall live we do As someone who has grown alongside most of these people standing up here today, I feel qualified to say that every single one of us is happy for you guys. I'm happy to renounce you husband and wife. Robbie, you can kiss your bride. Lots of good memories of Robbie and Jessica. I will say they have been inseparable from the moment they met. They rented their first apartment together. They got their first dog together. They got their second dog together. I think they got a third dog, but it didn't work out. Um, they've traveled together. They've endured the pandemic together. They've been through a lot of things, and through it all, their love for each other has remained steadfast and true. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's finally here. We want to welcome Jessica to her family. We view her as a daughter that we don't have, and uh, we wish both of them a long and happy life together. Congratulations to both of you, and we love you both. I'm Austin, Austin Bush, the best man. You know, I've I've been there with Robbie and Jess through their entire relationship. 
I've seen them grow together, I've seen them fight, I've seen them make amends. And uh, I just, I'm, I'm so happy for these two and I love them so much. And I hope them a long and beautiful marriage. Thank you. Um, for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Kat, Jessica's shortest but coolest friend. Um, Jess is not only the best friend in the world, but she is also a father. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, I have a three-year-old son that Jessica has pretty much helped me raise since... Three months. Yep. So... And what do you ask a morning guest? But I miss you. Anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, some people have best friends. I got it, Jessica. Uh, Jessica will be at your side in three and a half minutes or less if you told her that you needed it. Uh, Jessica will treat you as family whether she's known you for half a second or half a year. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, um, some people get really lucky and get it, Jessica. <laughs> I got one. Robbie, you're a very lucky man. It's easy to say that she is where she belongs when she's with you, and I'm eternally grateful for you and the love that you have for her. So, I love you guys. Thank you. If you don't know me, I'm Layla, the maid of honor. Robbie, you've shown my sister love and support on a day-to-day -day basis, but also when there's a bug in the house that needs to be removed, and I personally thank you endlessly for that. It saved me a lot of FaceTime calls watching Jess vacuum up a bug while we both scream, which has happened before. You make her so happy. Jess, you are who I look up to, always. Even when I would tell on you to mom, I remember telling my friends about my cool sister growing up, and I still do. You are so strong, resilient, and deserve the world. I love seeing y'all so happy together. Thanks to everyone for coming out here, especially such a long way to celebrate such an important day. To car rides with the windows down and music blasting, being attacked by a herd of seagulls at the shore, ramen nights, matcha ice cream, shopping dates, boba runs, photo shoots, family sushi nights, 2000s, 2000s movies, and every memory of us together and to the many more that come soon. Let's raise a glass for Jess and Robbie. Love you both very much. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing the things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy.